Hello everybody, welcome to World Pool Insights ahead of the British flat racing season in the UK and in Ireland in 2023. We're going to bring you stats and facts and data and discuss the competitors as well as we work our way through the British summer and we start at Newmarket on the Rolly Mile for the 2000 guineas. So the Colts will be competing for the first British classic of the summer and here are some insights about the track. It is galloping in nature and therefore prominent racers are definitely favoured. Remember Frankel bowling along in front when he won the 2000 guineas and there have been numerous examples of that in racing on the Rolly Mile. It's a fast surface, it's chalk based, it drains really well. So even if the clerk of the course decides to put some water on, don't let that uh, put you off, it will drain really quickly. And there's a lot of wind and the wind is normally a factor on the Rolly Mile. There can be a strong headwind or it can push them along up the exposed home straight. And racing towards the stand side can sometimes be a real advantage. And that is something worth bearing in mind when the draw is revealed. What about the trainers that operates regularly on the Rolly Mile? Well, they're top class trainers that we're going to highlight but there's a stark contrast between Charlie Appleby and Aidan O'Brien. Let's start with Charlie. 90 wins from 304 runners. Tremendous strike rate for him of 30%. Aidan O'Brien nowhere near as good despite his really good record in the big race, the 2000 Guineas itself. His actual strike rate is down at 12%. Just 17 wins from 144 runners. Uh, these stats compiled over the last five years. And what these trainers have achieved on the Rolly Mile is reflected by their number one jockeys. William Buick, of course, rides for Charlie Appleby, and he's got a tremendous record on this track, as reflected by Charlie's 28% uh, for William Buick. And that's 106 wins from 373 rides. He gets it out there. He understands the track. He rides it really well. And strangely, Ryan Moore, who is a world-class international jockey, well, his strike rate is very poor by his usual standards, just 9%, 31 wins from 304 rides. He's much better than that though. If he's on the right horse, bear in mind, Ryan will get the job done and he's got a good record in the 2000 guineas itself. But overall, his strike rate, not particularly good. And what are we going to expect out there in terms of a time? With our time insights, we can see that the average winning time for the 2000 guineas is 1 minute 36.13 just about even 12 second furlongs throughout the race. If they go eight 12 second furlongs, they'll get to 136 and we can expect something around about that. The last 10 renewals have been on quite quick ground. It does drain well as stated earlier, so we always get good or good to firm ground. And that means with an evenly run race, you'll get a very good time of round about 136. It should be a tremendous renewal of the 2000 guineas and we're very much looking forward to all of the action that's going to take place on whirlpool days over the next few months the first day though the first british classic the 2000 guineas watch live racing now on racingtv.com